Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I am back with another purchase or pass where we talk about some new makeup releases. And I'm actually really excited for today's one because there has been a lot of good new releases lately and there's a lot of things on the wish list. So with that being said, if you guys are curious about some new releases and my thoughts on them, then please continue watching. So like always, all of my reference is coming from a trend mood. She is the best place to get your makeup news on Instagram. So I would highly recommend you guys checking her out if you're not following her already. But I'll leave her profile linked down below in my description. But the first launch we have is from Too Faced. So they are coming out with their Too Feminine collection. Um, so this comes with a 14 pan eyeshadow palette, butterfly blushes, better than six mascaras in a limited edition packaging, and then also these hardcore lipsticks and they did sneak peek this a couple months back and I did mention that back then but now it's actually finally like revealed and it's coming soon in December and I actually quite like this collection although I personally am not all about the butterfly phase I know everybody loves the meaning of butterflies and all that but I personally Butterflies are just not my thing. <laughs> but the palette actually looks really nice. I like how there's like those little pastel shades in there and then you get the classic like Too Faced neutral tones. I actually think it's really pretty. I like it's very inviting to me. I like this color story. The blush is pretty as well. I probably wouldn't pick that up but I do have my eyes on the Heartcore lipsticks because as you guys know I am obsessed with anything heart shaped so when I see stuff like this I'm just like give it to me so I probably will pick up one. Um, I think even the packaging, the component itself is in a heart shaped as well so I want to get that. There's actually a lot of things that I want to pick up from Too Faced. Um, there was their, what is it, Bold Lady Lipsticks that I mentioned a couple purchase or passes back but this Heartcore lipstick, I'm going to add it to my wish list. Anything with hearts is on my wish list so I'm gonna add this one. There's no pricing yet. And the next release is from Morphe and Pony's Makeup. So this is the Constellation Sky Artistry Collection. So it comes with the Mega Palette and then it comes with these shimmering lip balms or lip jellies and then it also comes with these like little stickers as well. So this already did launch and I actually did purchase this. On the day of launch I did buy it because I wanted to support Pony I am obsessed with Pony. I love the way she does her makeup. Absolutely stunning and I think she is just an artist and whenever there are like Asian influencer collabs I'm going to support it because I love to see it and I want to see more of it and this is actually Pony's second time collabing with Morphe. I didn't purchase the first one just because the colors looked a little ashy and at the time I really couldn't afford to buy so many makeup but this time around I can so I wanted to support so I got the whole collection so if you guys would like to see a review on that and like three looks on the palette I'll definitely do that I have plans on doing so I think the palette's actually really really pretty I think this palette looks more like pony to me than her first one um, but I'm really excited for this and I think her campaign photos were absolutely stunning so I already picked this one up it was on the wish list I got it right away I actually put myself on a no buy for the rest of the year which Honestly, it's not too hard because we're in December now, pretty much there's only one month left, but because Christmas is coming up and I have a lot of makeup that I want to try, I'm just like, okay, Judy, at least just wait till the new year. And this was the last thing that I told myself I was going to buy makeup wise, but I actually just made a ColourPop order yesterday. So that was my last one. That was my last one. Everything that I'm going to add onto the wish list, I'm going to save it for next year. But the next new release is not from a cruelty free brand but I did just like want to talk about it because if it was cruelty free I would have definitely added this into my wish list. This is the collab with MAC Cosmetics and Lisa from Blackpink. I actually think this collection is really really pretty. A lot of MAC collections I see these days for a long time honestly are really really boring and a lot of them don't make sense and I feel like they're just so repetitive and I think MAC back then you know they were so popular when i was not cruelty free mac was like my brand i actually went to a makeup school um it was like a makeup school to get your certificate to be like a freelance makeup artist but you don't need a certificate to be a freelance makeup artist but i went for half a year it was a part-time course that i did and you know here i am now and i would never do freelance i just have too much anxiety to do that but 
that's a different story but back then when I was at that makeup course a lot of our kit was MAC based because that school that I went to um, they only used MAC so I had a MAC membership where I could get a discount and I was like I had a full-on MAC collection and I was like wanting to collect everything but I feel like after I went cruelty free and then MAC honestly just kind of faded out but this collection I find very very pretty and for a collab um, you can see a lot of Lisa in it I saw her talk about it as well how purple and yellow is her favorite color the flower is actually Thailand's national flower I believe that's why she picked it and the colors are very her like I can totally see all of these colors on her the palette's actually really pretty it actually reminds me of the so very lovely palette from Colourpop but I really like this collection and if I could get it I would get it because Lisa is my bias from Blackpink Rosé is my bias Rika Jenny is like my style icon I love Jenny's style actually Jenny and Rosé's style I feel like Rosé's style is like I feel like I have a similar style to her very like feminine cottage core kind of vibes but I would get this collection if I could just to support Lisa but I think for a MAC collab in a long time this is actually a really good one um, so I'm really happy for Lisa next up we have a new brand from a celebrity this is from Harry Styles his line is called pleasing and it's a nail polish brand and I'm not too familiar with Harry Styles I was a directioner a very long time ago my first ever concert was One Direction but I think this does make a lot of sense because I think Harry Styles does wear nail polish very often so you can get the whole set for $65 and the nail polish is $20 individually and $20 is really expensive for nail polish but I think for his line he actually had some involvement in it it looks really well thought out um, from the actual component it is very very unique like I just want to get one because it's just so pretty it would even be a nice decor item as well but I feel like because he only released four it's not like a big launch I don't know it looks like a really well done collection I don't know if his brand is cruelty free or not but I mean I don't, probably can't even get this because they probably can't ship nail polish to New Zealand anyway I don't think he would bring this to New Zealand but I think it's a good launch and if I could try it, I probably would pick up one nail polish because I have been doing my own nails at home although I don't have anything on my nails right now. I'm very intrigued by it and if I could try it, I would. And then we have a whole new line from CoverGirl. They are coming out with a new skincare line. So it comes with a skin corrector cream, a cleanser, a moisturizer, a glow mist, a water cream. There's just a whole line of that and CoverGirl is very, very affordable so I'm intrigued by this skincare line I'm not too sure if I'll pick anything up because I just have a lot of skincare items like I have backups of backups of every category that I'm just like trying to get through and I'm trying to minimize my skincare routine as well but um, this looks really cool and I actually really like the branding of this it's very simple it's very clean um, it's very pleasing to the eyes so uh, maybe I'll try something one day but I think by the time we get this in New Zealand it'll be like probably like a year from now to be honest all right next up let's talk about what everybody has been talking about it probably has been all over your timeline we are talking about Rim Beauty this is Ariana Grande's makeup line so I did mention Rim Beauty in a purchase or pass video a couple of videos back but that's when we didn't have any info about it but now it has launched we have seen the products I don't know how I feel about it I've only watched one review on Rim Beauty and that was Ellie Glines and she seemed to really like it I personally don't think I would purchase anything from this nothing really intrigues me I'm not really all about the packaging either like I can see where she's coming from so I'm gonna put a TikTok up and pretty much the TikTok just explains how she kind of copied this small Chinese makeup brand and I think the issue was is like how Ariana claimed that she was very involved in it and it took her a lot of time to come up with the concept and the packaging but in reality she probably just bought like something that was already stocked made um, from a different company or something like that I don't know how things work behind the scenes like I don't make anything myself so I don't know I guess after seeing that TikTok, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know if I really want to support 
that and then the next release has already launched this one is from Natasha Denona so this is the glam face and eyes palette there's two palettes the $59 each and one is in light and one is in dark it comes with a cream blush a highlighter and five eyeshadows and I am not someone that reviews Natasha Denona a lot I have one of her mini palettes and I actually got the retro palette for Christmas that I have not tried yet but um, I've actually been subscribed to a lot of new beauty youtubers and a lot of them review Natasha Denona so I've been more intrigued by this and I saw a lot of people review this palette one video specifically I saw Morgan Turner review it and when I saw on her and her swatches and everything I was like I want this palette like I actually want this palette because she used the light one and I could just imagine myself using every single shade all the eyeshadows is like just up my alley they're like quite rosy so you get like a transition a medium a dark and then you get the two metallics it's like a perfect eye look the blush looks really pretty the highlight looks really pretty so I'm like this just seems like a really ideal palette for me. I just really, really love how that looks. I believe this is a holiday launch. I'm not too sure about that. But I don't even know if we'll get this in New Zealand. Like, if we do, I might add this into my wish list. And the last release I want to talk about comes from Dear Dahlia. They released their holiday collection and this collection it was just so pretty and Dear Dahlia as a brand as a whole, I've said this many times, is so dreamy, so luxurious. I just want to try more from them. I actually am wearing one of their liquid lipsticks right now. It's like my first time trying it and I love it and it's so tiny. This was 35 New Zealand dollars guys. So you get, I I think it's six yeah you get six inside here and they're like teeny tiny little samples but I will do a little swatch for you guys but Dear Dahlia is a brand that I want to try more and when I saw this collection I fell in love especially with this lipstick the lipstick is called the Lip Paradise Sheer Dew Lipstick it has that little sparkly glitter all around the lipstick do carry Dear Dahlia in New Zealand at our Sephora but I don't think they'll come out with this holiday collection in New Zealand Sadly, like I said, we don't get everything down here, but if they do release it in New Zealand I'm going to get it because it's just so pretty and I just want it <laughs> But those were all of the releases that I did want to talk about Honestly, everything was pretty interesting and fun to talk about So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and just hearing me talk about makeup I love filming these videos because they're just super chill Honestly, they're very easy for me to edit as well. So anytime I film these videos, I'm like, okay, I these birds are. You guys will just have to ignore all of the birds chirping. It's summer here, so I don't know. Birds are chirping more these days. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, if you could give the video a thumbs up for me, I would appreciate it so much. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!